Oh my gosh. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lake Life Fishing. Now the video you're about to watch, I forgot to make an intro to it while I was in Florida, so I'm making one now. So uh, I guess I have nothing else to say except for enjoy the video. What's up guys? I am back out in this spot and uh, I think right away, I'm not even joking, first cast with this, here is this a bomber, it's a bomber, it's a square bill bomber, green and black with red eyes, yellow underbelly, I kid you not, within the first cast, I, ha I, ha I caught a Spanish mackerel, I brought him in, I didn't have the camera on at the time, unfortunately, but I kid you not, first cast. So hopefully, we're gonna be able to get us another one here. Mac, it seems that I always catch them when I don't have the camera on. So we're gonna try to change that now. See, I didn't even plan on really doing a video today until I caught that Spanish mackerel. Actually, this morning I caught two more. Oh, there we go. Suck of that. Oh, this is a good Spanish. Oh yeah, look at him. That's what I'm talking about right there. These things are like trout almost. They look a lot like trout. Okay, this is a lot smaller than the last one I just caught. But look at that. Second, or second, uh, I almost said trout. Second mackerel of the day of this part of the trip. This will be my fourth mackerel com total of the day. Oh, boy, he's bleeding good. I gotta get him back in the water quickly. All right, but look at that. Beautiful. Second Spanish of this little outing right here. That is awesome. They're obviously swimming around out there. I'm like, oh boy, if I caught one on the first cast, they must be out there. And you know, that's just proof right there that they're swimming around. They're here. Just gotta, just gotta cast and find them. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a little walking. We're gonna do a little exploration along this bank here, and see if we can't catch anything. Well, now we're still putting the backpack on. We're gonna skip this little area here because this is a bunch of uh, garbage and rocks and nets. And you can't see right now, but it's all down there, and I really just do not feel like getting hung up on it. So let's see how far down should we go. I think that should be good. This water's so much deeper now, so I can actually use this crankbait and not get stuck. There we go. I think that's a fish. That has to be a fish. Yep. Oh no, he came off. Shoot. Dang it. I'm like, did you see that though? Like the, this crankbait pulls so hard. I can't tell if the fish is still on the bait or not. Oh, that was a hit. That was a fish. That was a fish there. I hit that. That little dump right then, right there was a fish. Hitting my lure. I do reckon. But it did not successfully eat the lure. Now did it? No, it did not. Because if it did, we'd have it right here. 
in my hands. I'd be holding it. Well, that's a bummer for us. That is a blessing for that fish. Because he did not have to endure being held and show, being shown on camera for you wonderful people to watch. Get a hook pulled out of his mouth and thrown back into the water after being foolishly tricked into thinking that this crankbait, square bill, was a real fish and something that he could eat. When in reality, it was only a piece of plywood that was painted and has wires going throughout it and hooks and is not a favorable meal to a fish. Cast and step and cast and step and cast and that was a that was either just a weed or that was a fish. That was a weed. We've not had a bite in a while. That will not deter us. So like I said before, we will keep on casting our lure. We will keep on fishing until we catch that gigantic Spanish mackerel that I so desperately want to catch. I am as hot AF. Right now, Whew. I'm gonna sit down in the shade for a bit. Take a break from the fishing. All right, boys and girls, and whatever else is watching out there, I don't know what you do in your own personal life, but uh, I don't judge. So uh, we're gonna tie in a different lure here. This is what we got the three on today. I'm, gonna count, I'm not gonna count that last one, but I'm gonna say three just because he bit it. He got off, but he did bite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this buddy off. We're gonna try another one that I got two on this morning, and I actually had two or more strikes on that one. So that one outranks this guy right here. That's the lure right there that you got two this morning. You can actually see the scratches from their teeth. The one I caught actually had both hooks in his mouth he had bit it like this onto the lure and his mouth was being held open by both treble hooks. I've never caught a fish that's mouth was being held open by dual treble hooks. Never. All right, got the backpack on, got the new lure on. We're about to head out. Do some fishing. Fishing time. Cause it's fishing time. Checking. <coughs> Checking to make sure the camera's rolling. Just can't have it. No water. Oh boy. Hello? Oh, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while since we've had a strike, but we're gonna keep on casting our lures. We got our friend Mr. Bird still here. He's keeping an eye on my bag for me. Make sure no one comes and steals it. That is a cool little boat right there. That is a nice boat. Got to cast underneath the bridge. Can't forget about the bridge. You have double the chance of catching catching something if your bait's in the water and if it's just sitting on land. All right, I had to do a quick memory card change. Got four hours of memory or video already. Coming by. Look at that beautiful duck. It's a beautiful specimen right there. Oh, 
Oh, look at that right there. Dolphins. How cool is that? And that there, right, folks, is why fishing here in Clearwater is awesome. That was pretty awesome. That happened to me last year. Where they've gotten that close. I don't care how many times I see it. The dolphins are still cool. Oh, there's right there. That's nice and close. That could be a good name for the video. I almost caught a dolphin. Of course, I almost catching a dolphin could literally mean, you know, mahi-mahi. Oh, there's even another one way out there. Oh, it's probably the same one. Thanks, it's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Oh my gosh. Holy sh Holy sh Holy crap. Oh, that's a big. Oh, that's a grouper. That's a grouper. That's a grouper. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is my first grouper ever. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. That is my first. Is that rolling? That is rolling. Oh, my gosh. That is my first grouper ever. That thing fought hard. Holy crap. Look at that. Right in the bottom of the mouth, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh my gosh. And it looks like a bass, but that is my first grouper. That is what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. I've never caught a grouper before. I had one on last year and it got off. I mean, this is the size of a normal bass back home, but that is a grouper right there. That is awesome. Holy crap, I have never caught a grouper. That thing just hammered it. Wow, that is one beautiful fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Let his, let's let him go. That is what I am talking about right there. Alrighty? Oh. That was awesome. I have never caught a grouper before. And that was like right by the pylon. Dang. Oh, yes. Oh, that is awesome. My GoPro almost ran out of battery too. I just looked at it and the GoPro is like running on fumes right now. Oh, I am so glad I didn't die before I caught that. That is awesome. Our grouper on the lipless crankbait a grouper was on the lipless crankbait both both trebles got into him that's awesome i cannot believe i just caught a grouper not even that big of a grouper but I'm, oh my gosh i just still cannot believe i just caught a grouper that is just so cool all right i'm gonna change the battery in this gopro so we can keep filming and uh we'll keep going from there ah just snagged Dang, we're gonna lose the lure probably. Oh, come on. It's not the one thing to do. I tried getting it off, but couldn't do it. I'm gonna try something. It's really deep, and there's fish on the bottom. I'm gonna cast a jig with a twirly tail. Oh, that's a fish on. Or oh, there was a fish on. What the heck? There we go. That's a fish. On the bottom jig. What's it gonna be? Oh, look at that. Look at that. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that another? Is that a grouper or is that a sea bass? Oh, but look at that. He ate the twister tail off. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm trying to help you out here, okay? You know, I'm trying to be your friend. You know what? You're so small, 
your teeth do nothing to me. And I'm gonna lip you. I think that's a sea bass. I'm not too sure though. Pretty fish though. Hey look boys, I'm flipping her jig. It's just enough light. There should be just enough light to get a few more casts in. Dang it, I was stupid. No. I was stupid and I casted my line that way and I knew there was a net down there. That was stupid of me. That does not make me happy. All right, boys and girls. I think we're gonna finish up for the day. We had a great day out here fishing. We caught a few Spanish mackerel. Caught what I think is a sea bass and what I know was a grouper. Not all in that order. It was mackerel, grouper, sea bass. We saw some fish. I saw some dolphins. That was really cool. Anyways, folks, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Lake Life Fishing. Remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. It means a ton to me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember to live the lake life. Peace.